let's learn about how to construct a PPC. Here I have given an example for you. There are two different goods this economy is producing, hats and bags. So if you look at number of hats this economy is producing, the maximum is 100. But at that time, we have sacrificed all the resources to hats, so there are no bags being produced. The maximum of bags this economy can produce 50, but all the resources are allocated to bags, so zero units of hats. So I have given my preferences. I'm going to take hats for x-axis and bags for y-axis. Let's have a look at how to construct a PPF. I have given an example here. I have chosen a country called country A and I have chosen two different goods this country is producing, hats and bags. So you all can see this economy is producing 100 units of hats when we allocate all the resources for hats at that time zero units of bags. If we allocate all our economic resources to produce bags, we produce maximum of bags that is 50 units but at that time we cannot allocate any resources for hats so number of hats produced is becoming zero. When we are constructing a PPF the most important part choose your x and y axis. So I have chosen hats for x axis and bags for y axis. Let's start constructing a PPF. So let's label our x-axis and y-axis. Our y-axis bags, our x-axis hats. If you look at our hats, the maximum 100 and we have given 20 units by 20 units. So if I start with 0, here's 20 units, forty units, Sixty units, eight units, and finally hundred units. When you're constructing this graph, do not forget to scale your x and y axis, otherwise the shape of your PPF can change. If you look at bags, the maximum is 50. So they have gone 10 by 10. Right, we start with 10. Then we have 20. Now we have labeled our x-axis and y-axis correctly. Now we have to mark the coordinates. If you look at 
first one when hats produce 100 units no bags are being produced so this is our first coordinate when bags produce 50 units no hats are being produced so 0 50 when hats produce 8 units 10 bags are being produced 80 10 when hats produce 60 units 20 bags are being produced Forty two thirty. Twenty two forty. If you look at our coordinates, we are getting a linear PPF or a straight line PPF. So this is how my PPF would look like. Next it's important for you to label your PPF. When labeling, don't forget to mention for which country we constructed this PPF. So PPF for country A. So this is how accurate label PPF would look like. You have labeled your y-axis, x-axis, and you have done your coordinates correctly. You have done a straight line according to the coordinates you got, and you have given it a name. So constructing a PPF is pretty easy. The difference between a straight line or linear PPF and a concave PPF not much different so this is the concave shape PPF and this is the linear PPF or else straight line PPF guys I hope you enjoyed my lesson about production possibility curve do not forget to drop a comment and your feedback about this video